Hi, Joe here from Shutter Speak Photography. Today is May 4th. May the 4th be with you. Star Wars Day. So, in honor of Star Wars Day, I'm going to show you how to add a lightsaber effect to an image. Let's get started. Okay, so here we are inside Photoshop and we have a cosplayer dressed up as Rey. She's holding her saber, but there is no blade on the saber. So we need to make this look more realistic. So we're going to add the saber blade. So let's zoom in and be sure that we can see the top of the screen. And now what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate this layer by pressing Control J. And then I'm going to also make a new layer. And that's what we're going to add our saber to. Select the paintbrush, uh, normal mode. We want it to be a hard brush. Um, it doesn't have to be 100%, but say maybe around 80, that should be good. Opacity at 100, I'm gonna paint in white. And we're gonna get in as close to the base of that saber as we can. And we're gonna hold down the shift key and then we line it up, click once, and then try and go straight up. And then holding the shift key, click again, and that will draw a straight line for you. Um, doesn't look perfectly straight, so I'm gonna do it again. Right around there. Oh, I wasn't holding the shift key, my bad. There we go. Okay, so just gonna touch it up by using nudge a little bit here at the base. And we're just gonna kind of push in this area here. So it looks like it's all being emitted from the saber. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now we need to make the glow of the saber. Okay, so what we're gonna do is now, we're gonna duplicate this layer three times. So layer two is our saber. And we're gonna note that it's white, okay? And now we're going to duplicate this three times. Control J, Control J, Control J. And now we're going to say glow. Glow two. Glow three. Okay, so we're going to go to the first glow layer. Let's go to filter, blur. Gaussian blur, and we'll give this a 20 pixel glow. I'm gonna change the blend mode to overlay, and we'll leave the opacity at 100. Go to the next layer, filter, blur, Gaussian blur. Let's make this 35 pixels. Set this to overlay. And we're going to bring this down opacity wise to, let's make it 85%, 86. And now filter on layer three, blur, Gaussian blur. Let's give this a 50 pixel blur. And again, change the blend mode to overlay. Let's bring this opacity down to 75. We make that one 86, 75, that sounds good. Okay, now we need to add in some color. So first let's group these. And let's call this group Saber. So what I did there was just with all these layers highlighted, I just selected the group icon down at the bottom. Okay, now I'm gonna select the glow layer and I'm gonna go up to photo filter select color and we'll pick a nice blue because blue is the color of the saber that Ray uses when she finds it from 
Luke Skywalker, right, in the movies. So, and I'm going to copy this color here because we're going to need it. So I'm going to press copy right there. Okay. And say OK. And now I'm going to press Alt and clip this to the layer just below. Okay. Now I'm going to come up to this layer, do the same exact thing, color. Now I'm going to paste in that value of the blue that we copied before. Say OK. Again, clip that in. And third layer, filter, color. Let's paste in that value with the hexadecimal value again. Say OK, and we're going to clip that in. Now, we don't have much of a glow right now because we need to change some of the values. The density is very low, so we're going to pull that all the way up. Same here. Let's pull up the density to 100. Now you're starting to see that glow, and here. Pull up the density all the way up to 100, and now we have a nice blue glow coming off that saber. Might even be a little too much, actually, but that's okay. I mean, again, we can just, we can dial this back to taste. Actually, I kind of like that one. Right, let's, let's start from the bottom. Let's dial this one back a little bit. Let's try 70, 75, somewhere around there. That's a nice glow. Okay, so now we have a real nice blue glow around that saber. Okay, now, of course, any light source emitting a blue uh, glow like that is going to cast blue light. So we need to cast some of this blue light to look realistic here. So let's just create a new layer. Okay, and we'll call this um, light cast. Cast. All right, okay. And now we're going to take a brush and we're going to make this a very soft brush. Bring the hardness all the way down. And we're going to make this a little bit bigger brush. That looks good. Oops. Can't do that. Okay, there we go. It's a bigger brush. And now we're just going to draw in or paint in some blue. Oops, I blew it. Control Z. Go back. Uh, let's double click here. And let's paste back in that blue color value from earlier. So we're painting with blue. Let's just paint some of that in here, in here, a little bit there, a little bit there. Okay. That looks horrible, and that's okay. It should look horrible right now. And now we're going to bring this into overlay. And I'm going to Bring this down, and now we're going to create a mask. Okay, we're going to fill that mask by pressing Shift and Backspace with black. Okay, and now we're just going to go in with a white brush. Let's set this back to white, and now we're going to finally paint in where we want that reflection to be. So. Let's lower our opacity down to say 50 or so. And let's just start to paint in that blue. A little bit onto there. Ooh, that's a little bit too much. Let's step off that. Control Z to go back and let's make this smaller. Okay. Need to clean that up a little bit right around there. Let's Paint in a little black right over there to clean that up. Okay, back to white. Okay, a little bit of that blue glow. Uh, that looks pretty good. So I'm kind of happy with that. Uh, maybe we could dial it back a little bit right here. Okay, but Overall, you get the idea. It's pretty simple to put that blue cast into there. Okay, so that looks decent. Let's zoom out, fit on screen. Okay, we have Ray, we have a lightsaber. Uh, what I'd like to do now is color grade this. So, what I would do is again create a new layer. Let's call this color grade. 
And now we're going to go up to um, our color lookup tables. There it is, color lookup tables. And now Photoshop comes with a bunch. I have a ton also loaded here. And we could try a bunch of different looks to give it a more movie look. I don't particularly have a Star Wars one loaded up, um, but we could try like a Game of Thrones blue. This is uh, Glenn Dewis's. So let's just give that a shot. Um, it's a little much at first, but again, I would definitely dial the opacity of any color lookup table back. And let's just see how that looks. So before, after. Mm, let's try something else. That one's not bad, but let's give it a darker look, maybe. So let's try... Maybe a moonlight. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, that could be interesting. Let's dial this down. Yeah, I kind of like the way that looks. That looks real nice. Okay, so for after, what I would do is probably paint out a little bit of that on the mask here. Just to dial it off of Ray a little bit so she stands out a little bit more. So let's take a brush. And we're gonna, okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna paint with black, yep, which we have there. Bring the opacity down a little bit and let's just paint a little bit off of Ray. Make that a little bigger. Right in there. And that looks pretty good. So before, after. Um, and I'm gonna dial this off of the saber as well, I think. So let's just take this and bring it off the saber as well. It's just putting a little bit too much blue into the saber. There we go. So that kind of preserves the look of the saber. So before, after, and that's about it. I mean, I would pretty much stop there. I think with this, maybe uh, some vignetting, bring it into Lightroom or uh, Luminar 4 and finish it up with some vignetting from there. But other than that, we got a pretty decent looking saber. We created that color cast of blue onto the face and the hands. Um, and, uh, yeah, I think it looks pretty good. So, hope you enjoyed that. Happy May the 4th, and uh, may the 4th be with you. Thanks for watching. All right, I hope you found that video helpful. If you did, please help me out by hitting the like button and subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to ring the bell so you get notified of new videos. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.